I like the way they sound like a Formula One car. I love it. Climbing's never been so good. <laughs> <laughs> you do this, it feels like you're running really fast. Can I should introduce it? Yeah, yeah. I was going to say what I was going to say, that amazing line I thought of. Which is what? The e-biking is the greatest thing to happen to mountain biking since mountain biking. That's big talk, guys. You almost sound like you know what you're talking about. So today on EMBN, a man who just lives for bikes, uh, the first person actually, first British rider, to win a World Cup downhill way back yeah, in... Yeah, a little while ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a, mul a multiple, multiple national downhill champion, uh, Rob Warner. Thanks. Great intro, Steve. What have you won? Uh, so Rob, we're here today to look at some of the reasons why you love e-mountain bikes. Now, it wasn't that long ago that me and you were pushing bikes up, up hills in the National Downhill Series, We had right? to walk to the top of Peebles. Do you remember that one? That was like, that's like a thousand foot, wasn't it? God, I don't even know. But yeah, it wasn't much. It was, it was a one run day, that was. Yeah. One race run, no practice. So would you say one of the first reasons then is, is the fact that hills have changed for you now? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, yeah. So for me, mountain biking was very much about racing downhill. But when I say racing downhill, I didn't even want to put a pedal stroke in on a downhill, right? And if you remember the tracks back then, though, they were quite pedally. And I'd turn off, I'd turn up at most World Cup tracks, and I'd be like, right, that's got 100 yards of pedaling on the flat or slightly uphill, so forget it. I'll start. I know I ain't going to make the top 50 today. And the training was the same. Like I'd, I'd go out for training rides sometimes, but I'd actually get off and walk up hills. Like I don't, you know, that ain't why I, I like. I don't really like cycling. I like. I like mountain bikes for like action and for fun. And that now I've got that <laughs> everywhere I go. I don't want to be hurting on a climb. I've got no interest in that. You know what I mean? So now I don't. So is it like it's the technical element of, of, of two wheels is what you love most of all? That's it, I suppose. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, I, I don't, you know, I don't want to be, I don't care about being fit really to pedal a bicycle. I don't want to, it's not, it's not on my agenda. Yeah. No, I just want a mountain bike to make me fit enough to ride motor bikes. <laughs> and the closer a mountain bike is to a motor bike, and, and in respect of on a downhill course, you know, you're getting that way because you, you're not relying on your own yeah. physique to, to power it really, then, then it was good fun. But yeah, they, but really, mountain biking has had a, like as in a cross-country loop of actual mountain bike it's been a i've been I have moments of enjoying it but it's very on and off for me but this yeah. i get up every morning and i can't <laughs> wait to get it out the door i can't wait mate the minute the first pedal stroke and i get the boost of power yeah. i'm like smiling and that's that for an hour and a quarter till the battery runs flat <laughs> So was mountain biking about sort of, was it like today we've been sort of funneled into categories of mountain biking like cross country, downhill, enduro. We, we go to trail centers, we go to uplift. Back then, mountain biking was just mountain biking, right? To the point, you know, that the one bike you went cross country riding on was probably the same bike you'd take to the downhill world championships. <laughs> like, well, it was in 93. I mean, it was, yeah. it was a hard tail. Yeah mountain bike so is that have we actually gone back to them then with e-bikes do you think is that is that does no. it give you the same sort of no I, i'll be honest right i love e-biking because i can go out every day and enjoy can enjoy mountain biking right but just general mountain but, biking but yeah mountain biking a ride how it started for me going out riding yeah. you know and enjoying the countryside getting away from everything all that sort of thing and i really got into it to be fit enough for the motorbike race and i was doing then um, I wouldn't take this to a bike park. I'm gonna, you know, that, mm -hmm. that, that's not what it's about to me because yeah. then I get an uplift up, so I don't need it. But to go out and go actual mountain biking, this is on another level to anything I've ever had before in a way of being able to go out for a cross country loop. This is neck. This is incredible. Wow. This is the best thing I've ever had. 
This, this is as much fun as I've ever had on a mountain bike. Yeah, it is. I don't mind saying it. I don't think I've ever heard such a positive comment about no, your bike, Rob. I, I, I actually don't even like the downhills as much on this as I do my normal bike, because I feel like they, I'm still getting used to it. They slide about a bit with the extra weight. You know, it's different. Ooh, you really are quite neat to it, aren't you? Yeah, I'm still getting used to it. Like, I've only had it a couple of weeks, yeah. but, but f me. Like, single track that normally I'd be blowing out of my ass on, trying to go along, just riding. Yeah. Now I'm doing it at 30 mile an hour with a smile on my face. And, you know, and it's like, it's a challenge. It's exciting. It's like the flat is like a downhill yeah. and the uphills don't exist. So what's not to like? Oh. They're the best things ever made. Come on, let's do some technical riding. They are the best things ever made. <laughs> they are. Jonah, are you ready for this section? Because yeah. we have battled over the years on, on fossil, old fashioned things like fossil fuels. <laughs> Didn't you actually beat one of the legends of trials? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. Not so long ago. <laughs> Don't embarrass him. Right, or heads me. or tails? Heads or tails? I'm just going to clean this. That's f***ing hard, it's that is. It's not. It's piss Dude, piss. that is f***ing hard. What gear? Well, it's not about gear. You reckon you're going to do that? I'm going to smash it. Ready? You, no, you're going to get in the right gear, first of all. I think I am in Are the right. Are you actually that new to this spot? I'm brand new to it, and I've literally had you're this. You're in, like, tenth gear. Fifth, fifth. Ready? That's watch like this. Watch fifth. this. Yeah, but this is, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Fair dues. Fair dues. This. It's hard. <laughs> right, it's quite tough. Did you know it was going to wheel spin? Right, Robert, Robert Leslie Warner. John. <laughs> Robert John Warner. Leslie John. Robert <laughs> Leslie John Warner. <laughs> oh my god! Ah! He blew it. Two, I'll give it a three. It's pretty hard. Let me get my breath back. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. He's got it, he's got it. <laughs> so, I think, come on, get him in there. Why is it so physical? <laughs> Well, I thought you just said you said spend six hours on the on the YZ on the weekend. I did. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you out of breath? Well, it shouldn't be. It's an e-bike. <laughs> it's not a difficult section. You mean you clean like stuff like ten times harder than that? I'm a mountain bike. Uh, is it because you've not got used to the cadence yet? Y yeah. And just as I need, why does it run out of power when I need it most? It's like. Just, like if I was on a motorbike, right there I'd give it a big handful of clutch and go Arr! But this just dies. Because you need to spin it. You rely on the cadence to keep it bubbling over. And obviously don't stop because once the power disengages and kicks in again you'll spin up and stop. Robert Leslie, John Warner's got still a lot to learn I think. It's a totally different skill. Yeah, I'm not bothered about being shit at it. Usually I'd be pissed right off. And you really... are pissed off. I you know you're pissed no, off. No, just well, a little bit. But, <laughs> <laughs> but believe me, nothing like I can be. <laughs> this, this is going quite well. <laughs> but, I, you know, I haven't done it before, so I'm prepared to be a bit shit at it. You know what I mean? Clearly. He's got it. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it, yeah. Stick with it. Oh, nice! <laughs> Can we move on to uh, some of the other reasons you love riding e-bikes? What about, do you actually ride an e-bike now with different people to who you'd ride a non-e-bike with? Yeah, well I had it long really, but I used to go out with a fella on normal bikes, yeah. lives locally, and it was a, you know, I, and I ain't strong and fit. Well, actually, I'm not. But when I'm riding with someone, I always go like F on the climbs <laughs> and bear it. Like, I would never go that hard if I was on my own. So there's always, and I'd always like, you know, he want a cyclist, so I'd leave him behind. But now we go out and he's got an e-bike now. Yeah. 
and yeah, you know, it, it's he's he's there. It don't matter. But the best thing is, is I've bought little and one. Yeah. So my, old, old little. He was eight last week. Yeah, I yeah. did not buy him an e-bike for his birthday. It's good for the video, the crash. Oh. They'll love that. You're all right. You haven't cut yourself. Yeah. School uniforms looking a bit worse for wear. <laughs> it's nearly vertical, isn't it? An electric that's bike that's channel? Good. Yeah. Is that your idea? Yeah. I'm... Literally, I've tried to get him in a mountain bike and we've had so many meltdowns at Bracknell where we've got three mile out and then there's a climb and he's, no, bike's on the ground <laughs> yeah. and we have to go back. But the e-bike, I pick him up from school in the van, get the bikes out and we ride home on them. And, oh, it, and that... I cannot keep up with him on the climbs. I, and that's, that's not a joke, I blow out my ass. Yeah. For the first time since I've had an e-bike, my legs hurt. The other, after going home the other day because I was going that hard on the climb to try and keep up with him. You've rattled on through most of your mountain bike career that you've never been fit. But you look, you I'm seem fit. reasonably fit to me. Well, I'm not, all right, I'm fit <laughs> because I ride motorbikes and bikes, but I'm not, compared to the people I was racing against when I was racing, I wasn't fit. Compared to a bloke in the street, yeah, I'm, I ride bikes most, you know, yeah. three times a week, so I'm all right, yeah. So but, do, yeah. do you, can you see that e-bikes will make you less fit or more fit? An e-bike? Yeah. 100% and it's already happened <laughs> yeah. is going to make me fitter than I've ever been Whoa. and it's going to do that because I'll ride it every day because the big dark cloud doesn't oh, I'm, I better go for a bike ride today <laughs> I'd put my f***ing gear on and sit around the house for four or five hours sometimes I'd watch two movies <laughs> like thinking you better go you better go give it another five minutes I'll oh, just watch another ten minutes you know and that's how it was and I used to yeah. waste all day before I'd go riding now there's nothing arduous about it You're skipping unless out the I door. want it to be I am skipping out the door mate i can't <laughs> wait to get on it and it lights up on the first pedal stroke and i go to enley get a coffee a donut and ride back and that's one that's one that's one charge and when i get home i won't don't mind admitting that i feel like i don't know i feel mint i'm not all still sweaty or yeah. just knackered and tired yeah. the legs don't ache like i can't walk up the stairs like if i go on a normal bike i can just go for, i can just feel good i feel better because let's face it you have whinged for most of your mountain bike career it's correct? genuine i <laughs> don't like pedaling bicycles. But you've whinged about your back and your shoulder and your arm. Well, I've had quite a lot of reason to. I've had nine surgeries since I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm booked in for two more. Really? Yeah, yeah, I'm worn out. Yeah, <laughs> but I ain't going to stop. Yeah. But, but that ain't why I like an e-bike, because I can pedal a bike. My, you know, my joints don't stop me enjoying a bike, but, but th there's no comparison. This, this, is, this is mountain biking. How many more years of mountain biking do you think an e-bike will let you have? I'm going to say I've got another 35 years in me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah. Because the minute you he's stop... He's going to replace all the bones in his body, but yeah. Well, we've something. talked about fake elbows, but they're not very good apparently. But yeah, no, I will, I'll have, I will ride. I'll be, I'll be riding e-bikes forever now. Yeah, so here's a, here's a fact for you. I won't go back to a normal bike, only for bike parks, but not for XC riding. I don't think... Why would you? No. Why do you want to go slower? Well, if you think about World Cup downhill races, World Cup cross-country races use e-bikes to... Well, they're training on them now, even the top motocrossers and that. Yeah. yeah. That, the, 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 probably the biggest thing is, is that I, I enjoy the ride more, but the next day I'm not so fatigued I can't go out again. Like, I actually want to go out again. Okay. And it's February. On, you wait chat. till it's June, man. I'm going down the pub in the evening. <laughs> I'm going to be unstoppable on the... I tell you what, a lot's happened since 1993, 95, 96, when was it? Capron? Anyhow, 96. <laughs> since that uh, first British World Cup win. Yeah. yeah. But are these, these, look, these are more, I mean, so much has happened in mountain biking in 26 years. These, but a lot these... of it's happened in recent years. I'd say drop a post, puncture proof or tubeless tyres, you're barely flat, chains that stay on, simple things that used to drive me 
mad with mountain biking, now are gone. Yeah. And now it just got even better. And now the development of mountain biking, which you can't believe they develop anymore, is going to go on and on because it's going to be e-mountain bikes, battery bikes, man. These are the bikes. Yeah. And this, you know, even coming through jumps like this, it's no different than on a normal bike. I thought it was going to be weird. It wasn't. They're Brilliant. I'm surprised that you like the bike park stuff yeah. almost more than the trials. Is that because you've not maybe got used to the trials and stuff yet? Yeah, I like to do trials with my right hand, <laughs> not not my feet, I suppose. And okay. it, it, trials is what? Trials is my life, man. And I ain't going to muddy the waters doing it on an e-bike. Trials is your life. I live, I live for trials. <laughs> I, live for, I live for motorbikes and motorbike trials. I I, yeah, I don't mind admitting it. I love motorbike trials. Yeah. It's so tech, you'll never master it. These to me, it's just the most fun mountain biking I've ever had. You know, it, they are literally the best thing to happen to mountain biking since mountain biking. I stand by that, man. They are. They, this is mountain biking. Maybe not now, five years, ten years down the road. This is mountain biking. Forget anything else. Most people, right. you know, if you're not racing across country, you're going to have a battery bike. And that is that from the Forest of Dean. Yeah, look how, look how I've turned around. I've had one two weeks. Uh, He's there. On, coffee and cake. Uh, guys, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave your comments below uh, to Rob Warner. Ask Rob Warner any questions you want. Uh, and uh, see you next time. Nice and Rob. Ciao. She's electric.